Hey, it's Carefree Beach Bum back with a video on YouTube. Yeah, super unexpected, but I was like, you know what? I feel like making YouTube videos again. And I had a lot of fun the last time around, so yeah, I thought, why not? This will this will be good. So here I am. I am still playing Stardew Valley, but not today. Uh, today I opted for Traveler's Rest, which has been a really fun game, actually. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm currently playing Early Access, but I'm pretty excited to see where where that will go. Ooh, let's, let's do a skirt. No, I'm not really feeling a skirt. Um, <laughs> oops. My indecisive self is showing. Um, there we go. Yeah, so I decided to get into playing Traveler's Rest. I am really enjoying it so far. I've played a bit of it here and there. I definitely want to do a tips and tricks video. I am not going to activate the tutorial, um, seeing as how I have played a bit of this before. Um, I am not by any means amazing at it, but I will do my best to keep you all entertained. I had opted for a no commentary playthrough, but to be honest, I don't know. The reason I did that was because, well, I never really know what to say <laughs> when I'm recording things. Um, but then I found that awkward silence hitting when I was doing non-commentary and it was like, you know, I'm basically just doing random stuff, um, but since this game isn't super well known, um, it's just nice to nice to get into a game that perhaps isn't very well known um, and yeah I really am enjoying this I actually attempted a stint as a bartender um, but ended up doing more food catering than I thought I would so I opted out of that and went for a more uh, yeah bartender style game and here I am just hanging out enjoying it so far oh my gosh I forgot to put this candle on there well I'm gonna have to close at some point and do that thankfully that won't matter until a little bit later in the day but yeah so this is Traveler's Rest I've really been enjoying it it is still in early access so there's not I, I don't know what else will actually be added to the game, um, but so far I'm enjoying it. I know there's some talk about expanding into like a village and um, I, I don't know about like relationship stuff, but so far it's just, it's been really good um, building, like just enjoying a more relaxed tavern style game. I'm really into the whole tavern scene. Uh, a little bit nerdy in that way, but well, I guess not nerdy, but I'm really into history, so I tend to like it. Um, but anyway, there's yeah, this is, this is basically what you do when it's open. Uh, eventually you get some kegs that you get to stick on here and, and serve. Uh, you can also empty the kegs and just put them directly into here. Um, these are trends that you unlock later. I haven't hit that level yet in general and any of the time that I've played it, but I think I've also only played up until a certain point. Um, so yeah, there's some things that you do need to think about when playing the game. There's uh, cleanliness, so you gotta wipe down tables, you gotta uh, mop the floor when there's dirt and stuff on it. Uh, there's also temperature. Usually not as much a concern until around 8 p.m. Oh, we just, we got a, we got a keg and we got porridge. So let's pop these in here and in, oh, in here. 
there are a few things that aren't explained as well as I would like them to be in regards to the game, but I know it's still a work in progress. There's still things that they're hammering out and there's still details in the game that are being worked on. Uh, I know later on there is the opportunity to rent rooms upstairs. Um, currently the upstairs just kind of looks uh, like this. There's like a little piece of decor up here. I think you unlock building that you can expand upon later. Which I think is really neat. This is the fireplace. Uh, you put... You can put some logs in there. And then light it. Which, yeah, helps with the temperature later on. Uh, you do need... Uh, candlelight in here as well around 8 p.m. during the daytime it's not quite as as finicky right now I'm currently just trying to get through these uh, early kind of quests but let's let's close it and we can take a little bit more of a look around outside see what's going on out there so here's where you kind of order things um, you can order food for a little more variety. I tend to focus on the farming right off the bat and then also ordering tables. Because the more tables you have, the more money you make right off the bat, which is really nice. These are where the orders are delivered. You get a little notice around this area. Um, orders are unlocked later. People have orders they put in for customized things and you just fill them. Uh, staff you can hire later as well and calendar yeah it'll show trends or like important people that come to visit which is really fun there's a well here where when, once you have water buckets you just kind of collect there I don't currently have anything that I can really use outside like obviously I can't collect firewood or anything like that um, but yeah it's just nice to take a look around and see what we're well, 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 we've got it here. This is charcoal. Um, there's wood. You can use charcoal in the fire as well. It tends to last a lot longer. Um, but yeah, let's let's uh, head back in here and open for business again, so we can get these these quests knocked out of the way. All right. So we finished serving our five bowls of porridge, and we got a doormat. And our first beer, our second beer, or rather grog, sorry. Forgive me, I don't really know what a grog is. Um, <laughs> I know like ales and beers and and that sort of thing, but I'm, I'm not entirely familiar with a, uh, a grog. I love that there's these little conversations that they have with each other. It's really cute. So... Before I forget, there are these stats on the pause menu, so these are like your all time, last week, and this is kind of your reputation and and that kind of thing. Um, this is your inventory, this, these are your quests, I do get an axe after, which is a really nice. Uh, yeah, at reputation levels you do unlock things, these both aren't available at this time. I'm really excited for the one that says magic. No idea what that's about, but I'm super excited. And also social is not around yet. I assume these are being added on the release date, but currently early access, so we will see. Um, these are crafting things that you get to, to make at like the workbench and stuff like that, that you get later uh, unlocked at Reputation 2. Uh, farming is also Reputation 2. Um, and these two will be at Reputation 1. Um, these are skill levels that you increase. And yeah, these are your recipes that you have so far. So your Reputation bar is down here and it kind of tells you how much you have and how much you need to get to the next level. And right here it can tell you what you get at the next point. So that is exciting and something to look forward to. Grog. Oh, and we got our copper axe. So 
we're gonna close up here and try to head out and yeah, get those trees because it would be nice to get a sawmill in the scythe today. Come on, you guys, it's 1.30 and you're chugging grog or whatever it's called. Yeah, I would usually try to aim for another table today or tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to put my bar vision on. Now you have a bar vision and then you have a design mode. So your bar vision kind of helps you see all this grime and this dirt a lot better. And that's always really nice. I'm just going to... Oh, we're just going to organize this. Oh, I do have another table in here. I was not paying attention. Oh my word. Okay, so we got an order delivered right on the side there, right here. And we're just gonna chop down a few trees, get some wood, some sticks. Yeah, so the crafting element in this game is really neat. I definitely have enjoyed it. However, I think for myself personally, I much prefer to order certain things in, especially early game. Um, it can be a little bit tricky to get your hand on wood. Uh, for just for crafting the amount of tables that you want to have for your tavern it can be a little bit tricky so yeah the the last couple games that I started I ended up uh, just purchasing them and I felt like that was the better option for me okay there we go sawmill copper scythe fabricate planks all right so I do want to think carefully where I put this sawmill. I think I would like it to be down here. Um, or, let's see, if I put it up here, I could make like a little forest area around it, which would be really nice. I'd like to keep my farming and that sort of thing a little more close to the place. Uh, close to the tavern, just so that when I come out and if I have to grab something, I can just go for it. So we're just gonna chop a few more of these down. Wood is always welcome, as well as the the sticks that come as well. The sticks are also used as fuel for when you have a fire going. Uh, as well as fuel for when you're crafting items later. A lot of items need a certain amount of fuel. And the sticks give one, and the firewood gives, I think, five. And I think the charcoal gives 20. I mm, Don't quote me on that, but that is what I think. So we're going to put this right here. That'll do very well there. I think it was wooden planks that we needed, right? Indeed. Alright, so, I'll just chop these trees down, make some more space to get my neater rows of trees up. There are some days in the game that do feel a little bit slow, where you're kind of getting in the grind of things, and you're going, oh, well, there's not much to do in regards to that day, or that day, or whatever. Um, but I will say... Uh, I have managed to find enough variety. It depends if you are the type of person who can find enough variety in these kinds of things. Um, I'm very easily pleased with video games that are uh, that are this pace. So I don't find myself getting bored quickly or or anything like that. Really, I find a lot of ways to enjoy myself with it. I've honestly always wanted a kind of game where I am, you know, running a bar, running a tavern, and I feel like finally I am getting that, and it makes me really happy, so yeah, I don't have the pickaxe yet, so I guess I will keep clearing some grass here. Yeah, I think down here is where I would love to set up my little farm area. I have decided if I would like to keep certain things separate. I know there's fruits, there's vegetables, there's hops. Uh, I don't know yet if if I would like to have all of those things together or 
Yeah, if I would like to create little separate areas. Kind of like a fruit orchard or... Or something of the sort. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, eh? Oh, there's some more... Some sapling right there. I'm sorry, sprout. Hard to know what they're called in each game, but... I think I'll... I'll manage to remember somehow. Actually, when I... When I saw this game, I was looking for... Mine metals. Oh, interesting. When I found this game, I was actually looking to see if there was a release date for Witchbrook yet, which I'm also extremely excited about. I cannot wait for that. Uh, and I saw this and I thought, oh, well, that looks like just a bunch of fun. So, so here we are. Currently, I am getting metals um, oh here's some some iron see what we can get I think I might have to go and hit one of the uh, the plane st oh never mind make nails all right now we're running back to make nails all right I not entirely sure where I would like to put my smelter. Perhaps down here around this this area here, because there seems to be there's these this charcoal here and that stone there, and I kind of want to keep things pretty organized. So smelter, perfect. And the anvil can go here. Make nails. Alright, so I think we'll need... We'll use the sticks. Uh, iron bar. And then, yeah, that'll make me five nails. I need to make ten. Alright, so I'm just gonna run up here. I have this stump with axe that I need to place. We're gonna pop that down there. Yeah, and that you can just turn your wood into firewood, and that way you can use it inside, which is really handy. And I'm just going to mine some stone quickly. I don't know yet what I need the stone for. I don't think I even used it in my last save, but, you know, it's always good to resource gather early in the game, especially, because you just never really know when or what you'll need. So, I enjoy doing that. Let's put some iron nails on. We should probably do more iron bars. And I'm going to make a loop of the property and chop some trees if I can find any more. Yeah, there we go. I think there should be quite a few around, especially this first day with everything that they would like you to do. Or did I pick my things up? Maybe I did. Did I order anything? Honestly, I can't recall. <laughs> Let's just do some iron bars. It's getting a wee bit late. Um, but... The nice thing is, so you can stay up till around 3 before you pass out. And then you'll be... Uh, you'll probably end up sleeping till 11. I think that's how late it is. Alright, we've got a workbench. So we'll probably stick it up here. Oh, I'm currently crafting. Yeah, we'll stick it up there for now. Yeah, I think that'll do really well. What else is on here? More tables. Craft a small table using the workbench. Alright, so luckily we've got everything we need for the small... Oh, that's the bench. Let's see. Oh, we do not have everything we need for the small table. Um, we need five more nails and ten of the wooden poles. Okay, that takes care of that. Nope. Oh, I do need more iron. Let's see. Well, I potentially don't actually at this time, but... I'll have to make a note to collect some first thing. 
just wait for these to uh, be ready. All right, we're off. Oh, yeah, these little gems that kind of show up after, they're just to, to upgrade your, um, upgrade the things that you can do later on uh, in this area. So they add up to total these little gems and you can trade them in for uh, brewing, cooking, farming, building. Yeah, it's a really nice, honestly, it's really nice and I, I quite enjoy it actually, like, quite a bit. Okay, so we got some trees that we're gonna plant as well. Right here, 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 and here. I like my neat little rows, as you can tell. So we've got our small table. Uh, that'll take some time to craft, so while that's a work in progress, I will jump in here. And this would be a good time to set all these up. I believe I only need the one candle, but yeah. So this would be a good spot for the individual table. There we go. And I will add this here. The little candle on there. Yeah, that, that seems like a good plan. Um, in the meantime, let's check on our small table. Wow, you're crafting so slow! <laughs> um, oh, I believe I can do some mining here while I wait. I did need more iron. Alright, got a couple of those. And we can get some more wooden planks going, some more firewood. We're hitting 1.25 a.m. So I think this might be our last quest of the day. So, crafting room, unlock the crafting room, make one small bench. I think we should check what we need for a small bench. 20 planks, 10 iron nails. So, let's... Alright, had to leave momentarily. I have a eight month old puppy and sometimes she requires attention. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get some iron bars going. Get some more nails on. And yeah, that'll Oh, we've hit the two the two AM mark. That's where this little guy starts yawning, so we'll just check here on some things. Set these up for tomorrow. Yeah, and I think, you know, tomorrow will be a good time to get those those quests complete. Let's see what we've got today. Got a small table, coaster. I wonder if there's anything we could really order today already. Mm. Nothing really. So let's head in here. I might quickly set down some of these coasters. Perfect. And now let us let's let's book it to bed, yo. Oh, I didn't even make my bed this morning. I'm gonna make it right before bed. Done. And that's basically day one. They will want you to save. And yeah, that's that's basically just day one. And I guess I will see you in the next video.